believers 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 this is the third video so far um this is the reason why the reason why i've been even though i was on the street i was lost i didn't know myself um the reason why i still had a pure heart i still kept my faith is because of, of a memory verse a bible verse that uh, was still in my heart okay when i was a child growing up i used to um yeah i don't read the bible i used to go to church and all that but then there is one particular verse one day i was just there i opened the verse john 12 verse 25 says those who love their life will lose it but those who hate their life in this world will keep it eternally okay so when i say you hate your life it doesn't mean um you don't work you don't do this uh when you say you hate your life it means that um you don't have to do extra or you are not in competition or you don't love the world so much okay yes so that is what what it means okay so it stayed in me and then it has kept me till now okay so imagine look at what even one my memory verse one bible verse did to me so imagine if that time i was having more I would have known what to so it still kept me with a pure heart it still kept me it still kept me believing in god and knowing that no matter what we will die and then what matters is where we'll go tomorrow okay so i love you so much i love you so much all right so that is what kept me okay that is what kept me so the bible that you are seeing it's a spirit it's a sword of the spirit so when an accuser comes to your nephilim and they come and add do throw curses or whatever they do to you what you do is you cut it yeah what you do is you cut it what you cut it <sighs> when they come and accuse you they tell you this they tell you that you just throw your sword you just show them even look at the bible look at the bible itself look look at jesus when he was being tempted by satan when jesus was tempted by satan what happened satan himself used the bible against him for that. and then what did god uh, jesus said jesus said what you shall not tempt you that shall not tempt your father in your father in heaven okay so the sword of the spirit is 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 it's like you are telling the enemy that you know what you know what you are about yeah so when you come out, out across nephilim and then you you throw the bible at them you see their reaction you see that they'll be like hey so this person you know the bible then it means you have swords you have spirits you have knife guns and that that is what spiritually if god is to open your eye whenever you say a bible verse this is what it means okay right so that's it and secondly 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 um i didn't want to do another video i know it's a it's a different different topic i didn't want to do another video i wanted to do all in one so the reason why the nephilim they kill you they, they are after your life after your life one is either they they think you've seen them so if you've seen them they will stop existing in this world so they have oh secondly they want to kill you so that they can have your inheritance whatever you're supposed to have in this world when someone Kills you. That's why you see the politicians, they kill so many people, they do sacrifices, sacrifices to do what? To collect more stars and more destiny so that people can like them, more glory. Okay, so if you are the child of God and you are strong and they still kill and destroy, they do so many things and it's, it's not working. What would they do? What would they do? They will have to do what? Yeah, so that's it. I, 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 I urge you gather as much as possible more swords okay more swords in your heart so that you know whatever is happening in this world okay so yeah so there's nephilim there's nephilim that you see this nephilim, 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 nephilim. Huh. so and thirdly 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 as a ne as a child of god don't marry or date a nephilim a demon as a child of God, don't date or marry a nephew as a demon because they will always have their wife, they are the one they love, which is also a demon like them. Because Satan does not like to share his kingdom. Satan does not like to share his kingdom. Unlike some children of God will be like, oh, this person is nice, this person is this. So no. Let us also not share our kingdom. Let us not share our kingdom. We go with the people who love God. 
if you don't love God, you are not ready to repent. Day in your lane. Do you understand? Because you see them, they will come and sleep. So even if some of your friends, they will set you up with someone to, so that the person will come and sleep with you. When that person sleeps with you, then they collect what they see in you that they want, that they cannot take. Then they, that, then that friend that they set up will later, after their sexual intercourse, they will later go and meet with that your friend somewhere. They will have intercourse and then transfer whatever they, your blessing to that person. Do you understand? So that's what happens. So you see um, children of God, um, uh, two demons married. God, they don't share their kingdom. They don't like us, okay? You see them married, married. They are together. When they are together, you see that now. Still, when their husband is cheating, they don't care because they know that the husband is going to collect more glory and more things in the house. It's more blessings, okay? So they know that. So avoid mingling with people who don't have the same spirit with you because no matter what, they will fight you. No matter what, they will be rather more jealous of you instead of um, seeing that you are all in it together, okay? So that's all I want you to know. Oh, number four, number four. Um, the fetish priest, they will tell you when bring head, someone's head, or someone's hand, or someone's this. The reason why they tell you that is they know when you come and join them, when you turn your back from God and you come and join them, they will use you against the children of God. When they use you against the children of God, they tell you that you should cut the head, you should cut ears, you should cut this. All this is for one particular reason, because, because of how the Bible describes the rapture. Yes. And you should know that in every season that the Nephilims are too many in this world, God will always bring a Noah. God will always bring a Noah in every season. Do you understand? So um, there are a lot of snakes around. There are a lot of demons, Nephilims, okay, who are starving. Looking for human flesh, they've killed so they've killed all their the children of God in their family. So there's no more meat to eat. You understand? There's no more. Eat. So they are starving spiritually. But then you see them walking around, walking around. So watch out as a child of God. Okay, watch out as a child of God. They ask you to bring their, their pieces or the body parts of the children of God because 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 because. They've heard about rapture. How when the Jesus comes in his glory, the dead in Christ shall rise. The dead in Christ shall rise. When they rise, what will happen? What will the dead in Christ do? Their body part has been cut. Eaten or cut. How would they, God call them back? But you don't know that. No matter what, God already knew there will be people like you in this world. So, and he is the God of creation. He has life. He's not Satan. So he can bring back the pieces, the body parts and everything. He can join it together for the person to have their full glory to attend heaven. And that will be physical. All of us will see. You understand? So let, let, let us be, be, be very, very, very wary. Okay? Be very wary of um, whatever is, is happening. Let us open our eyes. Okay? We are all not human. We are all not human. Some are on assignment here. Okay. Some are not. They are not happy. How can you be happy if you are all you do is to steal someone's blessing, to kill, to destroy? You can't be happy. Do you understand? But when everything is original, that's when you, you find peace and freedom. Because you know it is yours and you got it and you got it in the right way. Okay. So I love you so much. Share, like, and subscribe. Bye bye.